Establishing a fall or winter cover crop in the Atlantic provinces comes with a little bit of risk, um, mostly that they won't have time to establish before winter, particularly after a crop like corn that may not be harvested until later in the fall. One potential solution would be to intercede a cover crop into the corn. We broadcasted several strips of ryegrass, clover, and mixes of the two into a grain corn field using a four-wheeler and broadcast spreader on June 23rd. The corn was at about the four leaf stage, and ideal timing would be that four to six leaf stage, about the same as your nitrogen top dress. The idea is that the crop can establish itself before the corn canopy closes up and um, it'll continue growing there underneath the canopy without really competing too much for any resources until the corn is harvested, at which point it can take off. For this demonstration, we used two different types of annual ryegrass. One was a low boy and the other was called root max. Both of those were seeded on their own at 20 pounds to the acre. And then we used two different types of red clover as well. So one was a single cut red clover and then a double cut red clover. And both of those were seeded at eight pounds to the acre on their own. Then we did a mixture of the ryegrass plus single cut clover and then ryegrass plus double cut clover and uh, the ratios in those were 10 pounds of ryegrass to the acre plus five pounds of clover. All right, today is November 16th, 2022. Um, I'm out standing in this recently harvested grain corn field where we broadcast some cover crops um, into, into the standing corn back on June 23rd at the about the V4 stage of the corn. Um, the strip that I'm standing in here is an annual ryegrass strip and you can see there is uh, quite a bit of green around me. Some of it's weeds but <laughs> most of it is uh, is ryegrass and at this point in the season mid-November um, we really wouldn't be able to establish anything had we tried to after the corn had been harvested. So this offers us a really good opportunity to be able to um, have that, that living uh, green cover going into the winter. Um, and it was, it was broadcast, as I said, back in June and, uh, and it's established itself fairly well um, underneath the growing corn. This next strip that I'm standing in is um, also an annual ryegrass, um, but this is the variety or cultivar called Low Boy. Um, and for some reason, it seems to have established better than just um, the other annual ryegrass that we had. So the coverage seems to be more even um, and fewer weeds definitely in this strip. So yeah, I'm really, really quite happy with how um, this strip established. Okay, the strip that I'm in now is um, a double cut red clover. Um, not as happy with how how this did in comparison to the low boy. Uh, it, it was just a little a little patchier. Um, now part of that could be human error. Um, you know we're using a broadcast spreader. It's uh, not super technical. Um, so I think that probably what happened here was that it spun out a little bit more at the beginning than it did later on, so it wasn't quite um, even going down the field. That being said, there are some, some good patches here, um, and because it's a double cut clover, it's a little bit more vigorous than the single cut, um, and you can definitely see that when you look at it up close, which I will show you now. So this is a bit of a close-up of the double cut red clover. Um, this is in an area where it did establish fairly well um, compared to just this strip right next door, which I think that this this could have been the tire track, um, you know, where the sprayer and things traveled. So it could have been a little bit more, um, a little bit more compaction, a little bit more difficult to 
for that clover to um, establish. But as I said, in this strip here, there's some really nice growth. It's competed well with the weeds. There's some in there, but it's not too bad. Um, and that's going to also fix some nitrogen from the soil. So this strip is our single cut red clover. Um, noticeably less vigorous than the double cut, um, as expected. And that can certainly have its advantages in, in some systems. So for instance, with um, winter wheat, if you are going to, are you planning on using the straw for that winter wheat and you're a little worried about, um, you know, how much the clover is going to grow before harvest, then single cut is a really nice option because it's just not going to be quite as vigorous. Um, I would say in this particular field, this particular year, um, the double cut was the way to go. Um, the corn would have shaded it in quite quickly um, after it was planted, so it, but it still managed to um, pull in a lot of, or enough, <laughs> nutrients and light and so on um, to establish well compared to this single cut, which is um, quite a bit quite a bit uh, lower population, um, even though it was seeded at the same rate, um, just not, not nearly as good to cover lots more weeds in this section. So for the close-up, um, you can definitely see there is some clover here, uh, just certainly not as much as we saw over in the double cut strip. So the last two strips that we did here were mixtures of annual ryegrass and clover. So one of them was um, the ryegrass with double cut clover and the other was ryegrass with the single cut clover. Um, I'm not really seeing a lot of difference. Honestly, the ryegrass has really thrived in, in this section of the field um, and I'm having a hard time finding any of the clover. So, yeah, really happy with the um, ryegrass establishment. Seems to be fairly even um, going up the field. Lots of biomass here. Um, it's going to provide a really, really nice cover going into the winter. You can see um, some pretty nice establishment for the ryegrass here. However, it, it takes um, takes a lot of effort to kind of find some of those clover plants that are hidden in here, um, but you just really have to look for them. And I'm seeing them more, here's one here, um, you see some clover right here, and it seems to be in a section where uh, the ryegrass didn't um, cover quite as well. So I suspect that that probably had something to do with um, they were being broadcast in the same, the same spreader, um, and of course clover and ryegrass have different seed sizes, so one is going to throw a little bit further than the other, it's not going to be perfect coverage, um, perfect unico uniform coverage across the board. Okay, here we are in our last strip, again if this is um, a mixture of ryegrass and clover. And again, same as we saw in the other one, um, the ryegrass established fairly well, and it's harder to find the clover. However, it did, um, it, it certainly fulfilled the brief of providing us some good cover going into the winter time, when we definitely would not have been able to get anything to establish at this late point in the season. So that's a win.